Hello my friends, welcome back. In this video I'm gonna show you how you can set up XRTP on OpenSUSE. The process is quite simple so follow along. First thing is we install the software as possible on that for XRTP simply by typing uh, zipper install with the sudo command XRTP Press Y, Enter. Alright, the software is installed. You clear the screen. We should run the next command which is sudo system ctl start. XRDP. You can enable it. This tutorial that I found online, text like it's a text, text tutorial or a web page, says that you enable XRDP, but I don't want to enable it. I will simply start it. If you want to enable, just change this, replace it with enable. Now we can check if it's started. And it's running. Alright. There are two ways for the firewall to accept the connections for XRDP. First one is by running the command firewall cmd add the port. You just add the port. which is 3389 since on firewall D you need to specify the protocol it can be TCP or UDP this is the first way and you can add permanent if you wanna keep the changes permanently but the thing that I like about firewall D is the option to choose to keep the changes permanently or temporarily and I prefer to keep temporarily because I don't want my firewall ports to be open all the time so I don't specify permanent I simply go back once the system is running again is uh, start like uh, restarted and the changes are no longer taken effects are no longer on I prefer to run the command again, again to open the port whenever I want and not let the port open when I don't want to. So this one, this option is possible. The second option is the service MSWBT. I don't know if this is correct. We will see. Okay. And let's reload the whole firewall. Let's check the things that we have. List all. So we have Tiger VNC. It's not listed here. I don't know. We may resort to opening the first, uh, to opening the port using the first method, which is adding the port. So let's see. Mina. Before that, we need to check the IP address. To do that, we just run the command IPA. So here we choose RTP. This is my IP address. Yes. So this service, this one here, is wrong. If I'm not mistaken, okay, since it did not work. So we add the port 
3389 TCP Enter Let's list all The port is on And we go back to Remina And connect again Yes Here we put our username as well as the password and it's working so this command is the correct one probably the service that I have chosen doesn't work let's make it big and it is working as you can see this is, I guess, ISWM. Looks like ISWM. Yes. Yeah, it's ISWM. This was how you can set up XRDP. Don't forget that you can, as I said, you can make these changes permanent. You can make this one running all the time without the need to run it again whenever your system is restarted you can also set the service to be running also all the time without the need to keep running, running this command again and again by running sudo systemctl enable xrdp the command should be sudo systemctl enable xrdp if you want to enable it and keep it running all the time and start it at the, at the same time, you can run this command. For the this one, you can set it to be permanent. Permanent. Uh, guess I guess our video has come to an end. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. Thank you for watching and peace.